Hey there, and welcome to the wonderful world of vintage powder actuated tools. You know, if you got a tool model that uh, has consistent issues with uh, uh, red loads acting the way that they should, this might be the tool that you need to look at to solve those issues. But let's digress. This is a um, Master Set System 1. It is a 27 caliber semi-automatic strip tool. And uh, it came out around 1990. Company Master Set. Uh, actually, probably 91, but whatever. Master Set uh, came about around that time too. And this was their first strip tool. Uh, it uh, has a shape very similar to the... DX350 and all those clone tools and that was simply so that there was no need to get a uh, boot to put it on a pole tool. It fit in existing pole tools wouldn't have to go through the expense of making one. Let's just start by doing the usual. Remove a reset cap. Pin and spring. So we have this typical buffer in there. And there's the piston without the ring. See the serial number is there on the barrel and it was expected that an operator would keep the uh, barrel. That's why the serial number was on there and it's 3322 making it one of the earlier tools. The idea of the tool was that if you had an issue in firing you would, instead of sending in the tool for repair, you would take this end out, it's called the firing module, FM1. You would take that and send it back in and you'd get a uh, module replacement, rebuilt module in exchange for that. The idea was that a distributor would have a couple on hand. You would uh, take it in when you had the issue and uh, they would just charge you, I think it was like $19, hand you the module, put it in the tool, fire it, whatever, and you'd be back on the road and they'd send it to master setting and get it exchanged for a new one. Maybe it was $29. This was considered the feeding module. So if you had a feeding problem, this is what you would send in, the core exchange, and this was more like $49 or something like that. Uh, prices, don't really remember. Okay, at any rate, it wasn't a bad tool, but throughout its history it did have problems. Uh, one of the major problems was it had an issue with red loads, and it also had an issue with uh, barrel sticking. The barrel sticking was actually done afterwards to stop that red load issue and it did work it did stop it not for the reasons we thought but uh, it did stop it so it, it we had a barrel sticking issue that went on until um, well not quite the end master set was bought out by Simpson strong tie by then the tool would have looked a little different. There's a different type of barrel in it, different looking firing module. The uh, central module pretty much looked the same except for it had a different cap in time. Eventually we were able to remove that problem that caused the barrel to stick and we had a good functioning tool and that's because the reason the tool was having ruptured red loads wasn't what we thought it was. It was fixed in a different manner for a different reason by somebody that didn't even know anything about these tools but it never quite gelled together until years later that I was able to put it together why it happened what we had done wrong when we had done it wrong and it's a whole story as to how I finally figured out that it was not what we thought at all. And then we were able to go back to the tool not sticking, the chamber not sticking, 
back to the original chamber so that the tool wouldn't stick anymore. And it was a good functioning tool by then. Finally, it was a good functioning tool. There was really no issues with it. Maybe a little feeding problem here and there. But uh, it was working well. Working as good as the Simpson PT-27. And costing more. Because it was made in the USA. So, there eventually... It, was phased out because there was really no need. It was redundant. No need for Simpson to continue selling it. I'm not going to fire this right now. I'm hoping to eventually get a uh, Simpson version of the tool so we can kind of compare those and maybe I'll fire it then. So once again I am done rambling and I did a lot of rambling this time. And uh, thanks for watching and have a nice day.